access is root super user space dash enter and root password start the installation uh, dnf install open ssh is already installed complete now review the firewall so maybe the firewall is blocking of ssh the port 22 so first of all review if firewall is active system cdr status firewall d is active and running so you can list uh, firewall cmd list or enter now on services ssh is permitted so ssh is allowed by default if ssh is not permitted is not is not allowed use the following command firewall cmd dash dash add service equal to ssh then enter obviously is already permitted and list all to verify so it's permitted and that means you can uh, access from a client and first verify the IP addresses okay IPv4 232 and IPv6 232 this is my client uh, Verify uh, the configuration on IPv6 and on IPv4. For example, using PUD, you can access uh, 232 on port 22. Yes, username and password. Okay, success. Exit, use IPv6, two three two four twenty two username and password success. But try to access as root, for example. user root and uh, root password so root is available and you can access as root so this is a risk and exit okay so it's better to disable the root access Configure the following file. Um, first, 
create a backup cp uh, etsy ssh directory and ssh d config file and create the backup dot original and now just uh, beam editor to configure the file set number to view the line numbers and go to 46 line and permit login is yes Permit root login, yes. So change to no. I key to insert. And insert mode, change this to no. Press escape key, column, write and quit. WQ. Enter. And restart the service. System CDL restart SSHD. Now, verify. Use beauty. Try to access the root, uh, root password. Okay, again, try to use the root password. Then it's not permitted. Access denied. Very nice. So, you can use the access the with the username and password. And finally, uh, you can access a root. And that is a very good configuration. Exit, exit. Also, you can transfer files using uh, this software, uh, very simple uh, Wing SCP. You can use SCP or SFTP, any of these, uh, for example, SFTP and the IP address, port, username, password, login, yes. Okay, here on left, your local computer, and on right, the user directory on the server. For example, I have this file and you can transfer drag to the server and now it's on the server. And also you can drag from the server to the local machine. And it's a secure method. Okay, an encrypted method. Okay. Verify where it is. Uh, Simple exit from root user and verify if you are the correct user. Okay, this is my user, Zero Miro, and my working directory is this. So list the contents. Okay, and this is the file. The home C Romero and my local directory, local user directory, and 
For example, use the power uh, the PowerShell Windows PowerShell, and here you can use a Linux commands. For example, you can transfer using SCP, but first list the contents of my directory on this Windows machine, my local directory. For example, I have this uh, this file. Okay, I want to transfer this file using SCP. The file is called the control. Press Tab to complete. And the destination, the username, and IP address. and column to transfer the file or use IPv6 okay just like this then enter yes enter and password now the file was transferred. List, and this is the new file. Also, you can access uh, using SSH for the management. Zero mirror, uh, use the SSH, the user, the IPv6 address or IPv4. Remove the column at the end, enter yes, password. And very nice, now you are on the server. Exit. On Linux client, you can use the following command. You can use, for, for example, SFTP, the username, and the IPv4 or IPv6 IP address, then enter. Yes, password. And you can list the files on the server then you can get some file for example control.tiff now it's downloaded okay exit then verify listing the local directory and now you have the file If you want to upload this file, use the following SFTP password and put black, sorry, back blue that give back blue that give enter and on the server list. So now the file was uploaded exit then verify now you have three files